Hello, everybody. This is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. All right. What I have here is my wood gas stove that I built, and it is made using two stainless steel cookie jars. They come with their own lids. They had a plastic insert on the top of this, and I broke that out. And it just so happens that the lid for this larger can um, allows this smaller can right there to almost slide right down into it. It was a little bit too tight of a fit, so I had to get a uh, grinding stone and just grind out around the ring on this lid right here, and then it allowed it to slide down. And these cans, they have a little lip there, and so that lip rests right there on the lid, creating a nice seal. So this larger can is the outer can, and it is the can that holds the air intake holes for the system. And the second can over here, this is your inner can, and these, these holes right here at the bottom are the primary intake holes for the stove. And then here at the top, as you can see, it goes between the lid. Those right there are the secondary intake holes, and these holes provide the oxygen for all of the wood gas to be able to combust. It adds just that little extra bit of oxygen to give it that secondary burn. That way you're not wasting all of that wood gas out, and it's not being wasted as smoke. So, the larger can on this, these air intake holes, there are 25 3 8 holes on that can. Then on this inner can, the bottom here, there are 20 quarter inch primary air holes. And on the top there, there are 14 quarter inch secondary intake holes. So as you can see, this right here is actually the lid to this container and it will fit nicely right on there. And then once that's all together, you can take the lid to the top of the second container and put that right on there. Um, now I'm debating on whether to cut slits in here and just use this top lid as the pan holder or to get some other um, rack to hold a pot or a pan. I'll probably do one of those round Coleman cooking um, racks that would be like this, but they're round and they're smaller for those little portable propane gas stoves. Um, but these stoves, a lot of people call them downdraft stoves. They are not downdraft stoves, and if you do the experimenting and the testing, you will see why. Even Silverfire calls them downdraft wood gas stoves, but they don't suck any draft down. And you can see this by using a glass container as your outer can and introducing a smoke of some sort um, or a fog in here towards the bottom and around the top. And you can see the way that the air flows through this particular system. And the air, it actually is sucked in through these intake holes. And then it's sucked in through these primary holes down here at the bottom. Some air is also sucked up through between the cans and it is sucked out of these holes right here at the top. That provides extra oxygen for that wood gas to burn. Doesn't actually suck a draft down. It is an updraft stove and I might get some criticism for saying that, but do the experimenting and testing, and you will see that what I say is correct. So, once uh, I get some wood chopped up, I will throw it in there, ignite it, and we will do a burn test on this to see how well it performs. I may need to make some adjustments to it. Um, I'm going to get a... Uh, um, a hose clamp and put it down here at the bottom 
one with the little uh, type of end that you can just untwist with your fingers and that way you can be out on a backpacking trip or something and adjust the air accordingly to how it needs to be adjusted so that it burns the best. Um, the reason that I put so many holes at the bottom, because typically when you see these, you don't see that many holes at the bottom. I made it so that this is adjustable, and with that hose clamp, you'll be able to adjust the amount of air that flows in through this system. So I put more there, that way when you're in um, higher elevation, it's able to suck in more oxygen. Like I like to go hiking up in the mountains. And so there's more oxygen required there than there is down lower. Um, and that allows you to adjust it. Whereas if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be able to. And it would burn however it ends up burning um, out where you're going. But uh, that's it for this particular video. I hope you liked it. And we will be doing a burn test and boiling some water to see how long it takes in the next video. Tyson Wolf Fuel Systems Research and Development. Take care.